everybody, I'm Sasha, and today I'm going to be filming a everyday summer makeup look. And before we get started, I just want to do a disclaimer that I am not a certified makeup artist. I just do makeup on myself and my friends, and I've done theater makeup, but I'm not a certified makeup artist. If my tricks don't work for you, then I'm sorry, <laughs> but I'm just going to give you some tips and tricks that help me and other people that I know. So to get started, I'm going to start by priming my face, and I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Nourishing Primer. I'm just going to pop about a pea size amount on my finger and then I'm just going to put that everywhere on my face and you put primer generally wherever you know that your makeup leaving your face throughout the day um, or if it, you have any texture and just rubbing that in and then I have oily eyelids so I'm going to prime my eyes also and for that I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime 24 extended eye base just take a little bit of that on my finger and just put that on my eyes and this will just prevent your eyeshadows from creasing or moving around throughout the day which is really good in the summertime because if it's really hot out you don't want your eyeshadow to be moving around your face okay and now I'm going to move on to foundation and I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever HD stick and I'm in the shade 120 I'm just going to do a couple of stripes on my face anywhere that you need coverage and this foundation is really great because it really gives full coverage it's a dewy so it's not a matte finish and it really just covers any imperfections that you might have I'm just gonna go in circular motions around my face and you want to be sure when you're using this to bring this down onto your neck and to bring it back to your hairline because you don't want if the shade of your foundation is a little darker or lighter than your actual skin tone you don't want it to look different from far away than your neck and just a tip for when you're matching shades of foundation match it to your jawline and your neck not to your actual face and certainly not to your arms because you get more sun on your face than you do to your neck and just keep blending that in And then when I feel that I've blended this in, I'm going to conceal my face. And to conceal my under eyes, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. And this is well loved, <laughs> as you can probably see. And I'm just going to pop that under my eyes just a little bit. And I'm in the shade Light Neutral. And then I'm going to take a domed brush like this one and just pat that under the eyes and just blend it out. And the reason why you want to go in patting motions and not wiping motions is because if you wipe, you'll just kind of wipe the product off and not uh, keep it there. And also patting tends to keep the product in place longer. And again, just going under the eye, going kind of in a triangular motion just to kind of highlight anywhere on the face. And then going a little bit on the eye just to cover any discoloration or veins that you might have on your eye. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to s conceal some spots on my face, and I'm going to use a different concealer, which might seem like a bit much. You can use just one, but I'm going to be using the NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard, and just put that on any spots or anywhere that the foundation didn't cover. And again, just take your concealer brush and just blend that in. Oh. Okay, and so once you've blended out your foundation and your concealer, uh, before setting your concealer, I'm going to go in and do my eyebrows. And I'm going to be using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And this is a good dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, which is like three times the price. And I'm just going to take the spoolie and just run that through my brows just to get all of the brow hairs going in the same direction. And then I'm going to use the small little pencil and just fill in any gaps that I might have in my eyebrows and just go in light strokes don't want to be too hard um, especially in the summertime I like to go a lot lighter on my brows just because I don't want to have like a block eyebrow and then have like really natural makeup on the rest of my face so I'm just filling in where I think I need any more coverage in my brows 
And when you're filling in your brows, especially in the front, you want to go up and in the direction that the hair naturally grows rather than just going kind of sideways. And we can just fill in as needed. Okay. And then once I'm done with that, I'm just going to go back with the spoolie and just brush it through. Just make it look a little bit more natural. And just blend the product through my brow hairs. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to set my eyebrows with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And I highly recommend, even if you don't fill in your eyebrows, to set your brow hairs with clear brow gel. This one I love because it's like super glue for your eyebrows. And it really makes sure that your brows don't look kind of crazy and weird throughout the day. And that the brow hairs go all in the same direction. Okay. Now once we've done that, I'm going to move on to eyeshadow. And today I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Palette, which is... One of my favorite palettes, and if you need just an everyday makeup palette, I highly recommend this one. And we're just going to go for a uh, goldy bronze look. And I'm going to start with the shade Half Baked, which is probably the best gold on the market, in my opinion. I'm just going to take that on a flat brush and just put that all over my lid. The shade's really pretty. It's really metallic, super pigmented. Um... And this palette is 50 bucks, which is kind of expensive, but I think for the amount of shadows you get, I think you get 12. I think it's worth it. And so again, just packing that all over my eye. And then to blend that out, I'm going to take the shade next to it in Fuck, which is like a really dark, warm brown color. And just put that in my crease, just blending it out. And when blending out eyeshadow, you really want to go in like either circular or windshield wiper motions just to blend out any harsh lines and do the same on the other eye just go back and forth and just keep blending and blending and blending and really just kind of add as much as you want until you get the intensity that you like and then I'm gonna go in with the lighter more neutral color brown in the shade naked on the just on the same brush and just buff right above where we put buck just to make sure that everything's nice and blended out. You don't have any weird lines on your face. And okay, so that's the top of the eyes done. And then I'm just going to define my lower lash line. And I'm just going to go back in with that shade, Buck, the darker brown, and just run that right under my eye. Just be sure to go from the other corner to inner corner, back and forth. So that is the eyes pretty much done, and then now I'm going to move back to the skin, and I'm going to bronze up my face, and for that I'm going to be using the, again, Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is their contour kit. They have them in powder form and in cream form. I'm going to be using the powders, and I'm going to take the shade to the far right. I think this is Java, and I'm just going to take that just on any contour brush and just put that in the hollows of my face. And a tip to find your cheekbones is just to kind of do the, like, fishy face, which looks kind of weird, but just put it right under your cheekbone, just to kind of chisel it out and define their face a bit, because oftentimes you can look a bit dead if you don't contour your face just from all the foundation. And I'm just going to put some at my, like, on my forehead, um, just to kind of define and bronze up my face and you want to be sure to bronze a little bit under your chin just to define your jawline and then if there was any foundation that we missed blending earlier this will just help blend it out that much more and a tip about contouring and bronzing I generally try not to bring it to the sides of my face just because I feel like it can make my face look a bit weird shaped if you don't bring it down the entire sides of your face. And then once we're done with that, I'm going to set my concealer. And I'm going to be using the lighter shade, the middle one, the kind of yellow one that's the banana shade. And I'm just going to put that anywhere that I put the concealer earlier, just again in a padding motion. And I'm just going to put that under my eyes and 
on my forehead and anywhere that I think I get shiny. And I generally have dry skin, so I don't tend to worry about this as much. But since it is summertime and it is really hot outside, I'm just going to put it right over where I put all my concealer. And putting powders over cream products really helps to make them last all day and make them look nicer, um, especially if you're going to be wearing your makeup for a long time because if you just leave the cream, uh, they tend to come off. And then I'm going to put on blush. And for that, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani blush palette. This is beautiful, don't want to blind you. Uh, but I'm going to be using the shade Easy, which is this bright metallic pink here. And I'm just going to be taking this on an angled blush brush, just take a little bit, cut off any excess, and just put it right above where we put the contour. And just blend that out. And when I put on blush, I generally like to stay on the outer parts of my face, just because I feel that if you put it too far in your face, um, past the apples of the cheeks, uh, you can look a bit like a clown, and I don't think any of us want that. And just keep blending that out. And if you feel that you've put on too much blush, you can just go back in with your foundation brush and just blend out the edges. Okay, and then next we're going to move on to my favorite part, highlighting. And I'm going to use the Cream uh, Highlight Stick by Marc Jacobs in the shade Spotlight. And yes, this does look like a deodorant, but I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger and just pat that on the high points of my face. And that's generally on your cheekbones, down your nose. Um, I put a little bit on uh, my cupid's bow and my chin um, just because I like to look really highlighted and really dewy, especially in the summer. Um, and just to add that bronzy, glowy look that we're going for. And then just going to put a little bit on my forehead, just on the sides. And then if you have mature skin, I would generally leave the cream products here. Like I just leave the look here, uh, just because generally if you put on a powder over a cream for mature skin, it can settle into fine lines and wrinkles. But if you just want your highlight to be popping a bit more and to look even more bright, um, I'm going to use the Becca Cosmetics um, highlighter in Champagne Pop. And this is a beautiful golden color. I'm really going to emphasize the gold tones in our eyes. And just put that right over where we put the cream products. And if you put a cream and then a product over it, it's really going to be bright and really emphasized. And just really nice. And I like to look like a disco ball pretty much at all times. So I do this pretty much every day. And just have really, really, really strong highlights. Now if this is too much for you, you can totally skip the powder step. But if you're like me and you like highlight, go for it. Okay, and then to finish off the face, I'm just going to put on lip gloss, and I'm going to use the MAC Lip Gloss in the shade Pink Lemonade. And this is a really pretty corally color, and I'm just going to put that all over my lips. Okay, and that is the look finished. I hope you enjoyed this easy bronzy summery look really quick, really easy. Anybody can wear it. Any skin tone, hair color, eye color, anyone can wear it. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.